Welcome everyone to the Fung Fellowship Conservation Plus Technology Courses Fall Showcase. The focus for the last few weeks has been on conservation in response to direct exploitation of organisms. So this means such things as hunting, uses of species for medicinal purposes, and even over harvesting for food. So the challenge question we propose to our students is how might we co-create sustainable income opportunities that A, decrease human-based pressures on wildlife species, and B, mitigate biodiversity loss as well as threats to human health and livelihoods. And we took this project on uh, with a partner. Uh, we were so happy to welcome the Wildlife Conservation Network to our family, uh, and they helped us uh, propose this challenge question to our students. This was a very broad topic, so we really wanted to help them focus uh, on a particular area uh, with a particular problem. So we looked uh, directly at some of the organizations that wa the Wildlife Conservation Network uh, supports and helps out. Uh, those include Amar Alliance in Belize. Then we also have Spectacle Bear Conservation. That's an organization in Peru. Uh, then we also have Cheetah Conservation Botswana. And similarly with an organization in Uganda called Conservation Through Public Health. Hi everyone, we are Sustainability, a proud Mar Alliance initiative. Good evening everyone, we are the team behind Heartfelt's Handmade Creations from the Heart. Hello everyone and welcome to Econo B, an economic plan inspired by Dr. Fifi and Mulberry Tea. However, we brainstormed many solutions as a team, we were unable to brainstorm solutions with the local populations themselves. Therefore, we realized in order to answer our original how might we question, we needed to ask another how might we question in return, which was how might we facilitate understanding, empathy, and communication. Our team asked, how might we empower communities while conserving the bears? We hope to detect the global community's needs to benefit the indigenous felty business. This could be a starting point for the indigenous community to move on to, towards a self-sustained farming community. How might we co-create sustainable beekeeping practices to decrease human-based pressures on the wildlife of the Windy National Park and to provide an alternative source of income? We wanted to create a community science program that involves the local Belizeans in working to further ban the gill nets. Second is education. We developed a pamphlet to give to coalitions, local schools, and other organizations. This is a tool to educate the fishers and the younger generations on the conservation issues prevalent in Belize. And finally, accessibility. We decided to produce pamphlets as well as a website that relayed the same information on the pamphlet. The website will also provide a way for fishers who have lost their jobs to look for opportunities outside of gillnet fishing. With this new surge of crafting online, the first part of our solution is to rebrand felty into heartfelt. With COVID affecting the making of the felties, DIY kits can be purchased that include everything users need to make their own felty. Inspired by community gardens for indigenous groups in Australia, this mandala style layout offers a diverse and flexible space for knowledge sharing between research teams and community members on sustainable agricultural practices, including bear deterrence, farm location and fencing, and other strategies to minimize bear crop rating. With enough time and financial support, farmers will shift their sprawling fields away from bear habitats toward resilient community-based farms closer to their homes. We start by working with SBC's existing connections to identify local community leaders to guide the foundation of the program. With secure agricultural livelihood and, resilient, and a resilient community center, they will become less reliant on felty funds. While listening to the needs of the community, we would then be able to adjust the felty fund distribution percentages, directing more money toward Andean bear conservation efforts. 